Thought I'd give you an update on our uh, job site trailer overhaul for the construction technology program here at Iowa Lakes Community College. Uh, this week we were able to finish up the last few pieces of the puzzle, including the uh, solar power on the top that uh, helps charge our power hub inside. So you can see that. Um, we did include a uh, outlet for shore power to be plugged in. So you can plug in here while we're in the shop and or on the job site, which is nice. That'll actually uh, bypass the solar hub and be able to just run power off of that. It'll also charge the batteries of the solar hub too. We'll switch over to wide angle here so you can see a little easier. I've uh, got our safety center on the left side there you can see with the level storage above that as well as our story pull uh, situation as well. We do have a large or a long drawer here for um, larger items, which is nice to have. Above that we've got our uh, trash and uh, recycling receptacles. We also have uh, storage for a six foot ladder as well as our blueprint and plan board in the back there. Uh, hydration station above that as well as some other tools uh, around there as well. Um, we do have a switch for the center lights down here, a three-way switch actually, so there's a switch by the side door as well. So you can switch it either way. Uh, everything's got customized uh, storage drawers, shelving, things like that. Everything is labeled as well too, so uh, everything's known where it goes. On this side we've got some of the larger, longer storage things for the uh, saw horses, tripod for the transit, our uh, Milwaukee uh, light slash charger as well as a bunch of uh, adjustable slotted storage up here for different various air and, and power tools. Um, over here we've got a nice built-in work area with T-store storage above that, T-square storage above that, excuse me, um, radio slash charger that we can plug into this outlet here, which is nice, so we can charge batteries. Um, our work area here, as you can see, has a separate light above it. We can turn that on and off if needed. If you need some extra light, we're good to go there. Storage above there for some of the larger items. Got the dual charger mounted to the wall there that can be plugged into that as well. So we can charge uh, batteries while we're going on the road with the solar power. Here's our power hub here. So everything's, everything's hardwired, so it's a nice clean install. Grounded, bonded to the trailer. Um, again, as you can see, everything's kind of nice and organized and labeled so we know where things go. Up above here where the level storage is on this side of the this slot here. We wanted to make sure we didn't have wasted space there, so we've got larger saw blades for our cutoff saw as well as the miter saws. Circular blades in there. We've actually got some manuals and also a portfolio in there too that we can use for uh, taking measurements, writing estimates, things like that. A stand for the table saw as well as our sheetrock rip square. Um, on the worktop too as well, we do have a spot where we can mount our uh, miter saws as you can see. We've got a few of them, but this space here will cover any of them so it won't slide out the table and move around when we're driving down the road. Hoses and cords up front with along with the pack out systems. We've got a spot for our GFCI cords as well as hose splitters. Electrical control center here in terms of the solar charger, the uh, disconnect for the solar panel so we can, if we need to work on something we're not getting live electricity as well as the panel for the circuits in here in the trailer. Microwaves, got to have a nice warm meal is always good. Storage on the side. Again, we tried not to have any wasted space. This area here will actually have the Milwaukee three drawer packout system in it on the bottom as well as um, room for additional expansion of the packout system above it. And we do have spots here for additional drawers and or uh, shelving. As you can see, everything's labeled, so there should be no reason why the tools shouldn't be where they need to be. Easy to find. Let me know what you think. We're super thrilled with it. Have a great day, everybody.